GameMaker 2023.2 has just released and with it comes a visual particle editor. There was a live stream demoing this in beta and I even live streamed the live stream, but if you missed that there's a new visual particle editor where you can much more easily design particle effects. This editor operates on the exact same underlying system as particles always have in GameMaker, but where you would before need to code all the colours, numbers and settings of a particle type, emitter and system with way too many lines of GML and no way to preview what this even looked like until running your game, you can now actually make a particle system after set and design all aspects of it visually. You can put these into your rooms, you can then also make little adjustments to the individual instances, you can show these effects at runtime and also use them in sequences. You're only limited in terms of how interchangeably you can work with visually designed systems and GML defined systems. The particle system asset is the whole particle system and you can't access or modify any details of the emitters or particles at runtime, at least as far as I'm aware, because you just don't have any way to access IDs for the emitters and particle types. Of course the particle particle system as a whole has always lacked a bit of flexibility. You define up to three colours for a particle's lifespan, can only make them additive or normal blend. They basically have the same simple behaviour they've always had. But now that this visual editor is in place and more people might actually want to use GameMaker's particle system, I'm hopeful this is an area that might get fleshed out even more in the future. The free version of GameMaker has just seen what I think is a huge improvement by doing away with the requirement to log in. You are now signed into a guest account by default on your first launch of GameMaker and are only asked to log in once you try to do something that requires a license. Furthermore, less things require a license. Before there was some ambiguity over what you could and couldn't do in the free version, some things were arbitrarily unavailable like filter effects. Now basically all of those things are available to free users, leaving only actually building executables, deploying to non-GX platforms, and using the marketplace as the main paywall features. I think this reduces a lot of friction in trying out GameMaker for the first time, which I think is great for everyone. The final highlight is new audio loop point functions that allow you to define where the loop section of a track begins and ends. Before you had to do this in a very annoying manual way, so this is a really nice help. It's great to see audio functions getting more and more fleshed out. There's some other QOL changes in the release notes, so do read thoroughly. It's also worth noting that because there's a new asset type with the particle editor, projects created or opened in this version onwards are not backwards compatible. So please be backing up and using source control as always before opening your project in this version. Finally, there will not be a 2023.3 release at the end of March due to work being done to fix bugs and maintain the current LTS release. So instead, the new stuff being worked on in March will be rolled into a 0.4 release at the end of April. There will still be betas releasing in March, but probably not quite as often. If you find these videos helpful, consider subscribing, sharing, or even becoming one of these cool people who support me on Patreon. They're the only reason I can do this stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.